Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. Today we are heading to Hobby Lobby. We're going to see what they have out for summertime. We're just gonna browse through the store. It's been quite a while since I've even stepped foot in Hobby Lobby, probably several months, which for me is a long time, but I'm excited to just go and check out what they have. They've had the spring shop line out for quite a while now, so I've been able to see kind of what they have. So I'm curious to see if they've brought anything new out for summertime and we'll see what we find. I'm always looking for vases and greenery and just items that I can bring into my home to refresh it, but that are also very timeless. So if you like shop with me videos, make sure to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I also filmed at home goods the same day. So I'm going to have that video coming up very soon as well. And they had a lot of good stuff. So I'm excited for that one, but without further ado, let's go head to Hobby Lobby. All right, we are heading into Hobby Lobby. I brought my mom and Breland with me, so they are going to be my shopping buddies. And we're going to start out in the floral section. I always love to browse through this area, and I'm going to pick out my favorite summer-inspired florals. They were 40% off. I feel like you could even just get a few stems and put them in some greenery to save on the cost of the arrangement and here are a few I thought this dusty purple was really pretty these looked very lifelike and here sis is she so sweet um, she loved all the flowers um, but I loved these ranunculuses I think that's what they are and they were a very good price as well and then I always like to look at their pots I have this one actually the darker one and they are such a good deal for $35 and then I also loved a few of these other ones these were not on sale this week but the ones that say your price they don't go on sale but I thought this basket one was very cute and I liked that it had the liner in it so if you wanted to put a real plant in it you could so back to the floral section I love these little hydrangeas I think they are very realistic and such a great price per stem especially with the sale here are some wispier branches that I thought would be very pretty in a tall vase. This would be really pretty in an entryway or a bigger sofa table. And then as far as greenery goes, I loved this one for summertime specifically because it's very wispy and lifelike. I also have this olive arrangement. This is such a great deal. It comes with the vase. I think it was around $30 and I love it. I also love these large floor vases. I always like to look through these and they do go 50% off and as you can tell they are already such great deals. So love looking through these. You can get some really old world high-end feel vases for a very good price. So these are great and then I like to go through the other aisles of greenery. This one is a very nice faux plant look and again such a great price. You could pop that into a little vase and it would look like a real plant. I also, on this end cap, always love these asparagus ferns. These are great for summertime. Such a great deal. You can pop them in a vase. This also looked very lifelike to me. This one was a little bit more expensive at $15.99. I thought it was very pretty. And they also had these hanging arrangements already made up. And I thought these were really nice and also a great deal. And as far as greenery goes, I have this on my fireplace mantle in our living room. And I just wanted to show it in case you were looking for something like that and then I love their hydrangeas I thought these berries were so cute how cute would those be in an arrangement around the 4th of July and then now we're going to head over to the candles they had some really good textured candles I also love to grab their candlesticks while I'm there when they are on sale you can get them for such a great price I also love these candle wick trimmers these are great to set on books or buy your candles and these candle snuggers I'm excited to try those out out. Um, now for the candle holders I thought this one was very pretty for a larger candle and then now we're gonna check out the wall decor I love these baskets I've shown them before I also love this landscape art picture I just posted a reel on my Instagram showing how I styled that and then now they had orange tag clearance items all throughout the store so I'm gonna show you some of my favorite finds first are these baskets so many different styles designs size I mean all the all of the baskets they had such great deals and they were over 50 60 and 75 percent off so such great deals definitely check out the basket section if you are in the market for some 
and then they had just random things so I'm gonna show you some of the items that stood out to me I also loved this fire bowl I've actually been looking for one for our back porch and these were a really great deal at 50% off they would be around $60 which is comparable to what I've seen on Amazon I also love these vintage inspired fans we have one in our bedroom and I thought they were very neat and they also had some cool kitchen items so now we're going to check out the clearance aisles, which is probably what you're most excited about. That's what I was most excited about. And these were 75% off. They had this really neat medicine cabinet wall mirror and so many lamps. So I'm gonna show you guys the lamps. They look kind of rough, but if you can just imagine what they would look like in your space um, and kind of sift through them, you could find some really good deals. So the prices were amazing. I love this black one here. I feel like this is very trendy for $30 you cannot beat that so you could have these for nightstands in your living room um, in bedrooms so many different areas um, and then you could also DIY them you could paint them if you didn't like the color so I ended up with two and they also had some pillows on sale which I love to find especially for these prices I thought this brown one was really pretty I almost got it and then I didn't um, because I I don't know why it wasn't quite the right shade shade of brown so I left it there but loved that um, and I love these little baskets for bread you could put bread in them you could have them in bathrooms for organization it just adds another layer of texture so they had tons of lamps tons of baskets I loved this style but the lids didn't fit on so that was kind of a bummer but I thought that would be a really neat layering piece on some shelves they also had some cool vases that were really neat and candlestick holders that I thought were cool and also candles themselves they had lots of different just random things in these items and it wasn't super picked over so that was kind of nice too they, I got to see everything maybe it was picked over and I just hadn't saw it but anyways I loved all of that now we're gonna head over to the spring shop line I love these big large baskets that have the liners in it so you can plant house plants in it I also love this plastic cup this rug is so cute um, I thought that would be adorable on a front porch little garden supplies I'm just showing you like my favorite finds that I saw in the spring shop line this would be cute on a shelf it's just a little water spritzer for plants and this gold watering can I have one similar on my shelves in my living room actually these placemats were so pretty for summertime and such a great deal this would be cute as a little crock in your kitchen to add a rustic element and again such a great price all of the spring shop line I believe was 40 or 50 percent off this cup here is plastic but it looks so high-end and would be great for um, taking your drinks outside this egg rack was really neat too um, and then this is a little cover for food if you are going to have like outdoor dining pretty often this would be a really nice thing to grab I also love these salt and pepper shakers so cute and simple and these garden little tags would also be nice measuring cups those are great for styling on peg rails or on open shelves egg holders I know everyone loves farm fresh eggs so that would be cute to display on your counters with some fresh eggs I thought this canister was cute you could take it for picnics with like if you want to keep something really cold and then then they had these vintage inspired glasses that were an amazing deal they had little bees on them four for $15 and like I said it was on sale from that price so here's what I found let's head home and I'll show you what I got I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up from Hobby Lobby I have a few bags of items that I feel like were really good deals the clearance was so good it's very rare that you can go in and have two full aisles of clearance items especially in the middle of summer I feel like it's a really random time but maybe they're clearing things out for fall I'm not really sure but nonetheless I was very excited to have that pleasant surprise so I always love a good deal and I'm always looking for DIYs and just how can I elevate some of these really affordable pieces from Hobby Lobby okay the first item is this vase right here and this is kind of like a mustard yellow I am planning on 
painting this and making it look more of like a cement pottery piece but it was such a good deal $12.49 and it was originally $50 so I feel like that's a very good deal it's probably the price I would pay at my local thrift store honestly for a vase this size and this heavy definitely cheaper than getting it at an antique store so and I think it'll be fun to do a little project. I haven't actually done any sort of DIY in a while. And I feel like summertime is good for that because you can just go outside. You don't have to worry about getting your house all messy. So I'm excited to spruce this up a little bit. And it does have some texture on it already. So I feel like that'll enhance the look that I'm going for even more. So here it is up close. You can see it has some distressing already on it. So that's going to just add to the look that I'm going for. It won't be shiny or anything, so I'll show you guys how I transform this. Go with that. They also had a smaller version, this one here, and this was $5.49, and it was originally $21.99. So I feel like that is a very good deal, and I love layering pieces like this together on shelves, like you can see behind me. I feel like that's just a really easy way to bring in some texture and a rustic feel. Um, and it looks very styled and designer, but it's so simple. You literally just pop a couple of vases on a shelf and you're good to go. But I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm not gonna keep it this yellow color, but you can see there's a bunch of like divots in this. So I love the texture of it. I love the little handle lips. I feel like this is like very Pottery Barn inspired, but definitely on a budget. So I'll show you guys how I make those look like pottery pieces that are old. I may do cement, I may do paint, I'm not really sure, but I did pick up some paint while I was at Hobby Lobby. Colors that I picked out for those vases were this folk art matte line, and um, they were at Hobby Lobby, I think they were like $1.50 each, or maybe even less than that. They were a really good deal. Um, and then this color is vintage white, and I figured I could paint them like a neutral taupey brown like stone color and then I could go over it with this white. So this is vintage white. It's not a stark white, which I think will be good. And then I also picked up two different browns. One is a lighter brown and these are all in the matte folk art line. Um, this one is linen and the other one is honeycomb. And there are the two colors. I'm hoping that this one is dark enough on camera, this looks pretty light. So I may even end up using both of these, like this for the base and this one to add that distressed look. But if I need the lighter color, I have it. I also picked up some of these foam brushes just to kind of put some of the paint on it and just dab it on. I also saw where you can kind of rough these brushes up, make little divots in it, cuts, and that will give you even more texture. So I'm going to play around with that. Okay, in the beginning of the video, I showed you guys the candles and I said I love getting these little candles here. They're a shorter size and they're tapered. They're more of like a off-white ivory color and these are originally 79 cents each and then they were 50% off. So I love stocking up on these and these are great to put in taller candlestick holders, um, especially if you want to display them on a shelf or something. And then I also saw these, these are candle snuggers. And sometimes my candlestick holders are a little bit wider than the actual candlestick. So what you can do with these is just take one and put it up around the base of your candle and then put it into your candle holder to make sure that it stays nice and straight. These were $1.99 and they were half off. So I figured I would try them out and there are 12 of them in here. So I thought that was pretty neat. This was in the clearance section as well. And I just thought this one had a lot of texture to it. This is an unscented candle. I honestly don't even plan on burning it. I just like the look of it. And I like to layer candles like this on shelves in different vignettes. And this was $2.74. It was originally $9.99. So here it is. It kind of looks like a stone effect. It has a nice ribbed detail on it. And I thought this was a very good size candle. So I'll definitely layer this in with some decor. I'm doing a bedroom makeover video right now. It's in the works. We've been doing all kinds of stuff with it and I thought that might go good in there as well. Okay, moving on to some 
kitchen items or like more spring shop items. These weren't in the clearance section, but they were 50% off. Um, first up are these acacia wood spoons. Um, these were originally $8.99 and I love these. These are so good for hosting, for serving. Um, they're food safe. You do have to wash them by hand, but um, I thought they were very pretty. So here they are in the packaging. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but it comes with three of them. And like I said, you could have these for an ice cream bar and you can have them to scoop out different ice cream toppings or charcuterie boards or just whatever you want to do with them. I feel like they're just really handy to have. Okay, another kitchen item that I thought would be good for summertime are these little bamboo skewers. These were $3.99 originally, but like I said, all of the spring shop stuff was on sale. And these are like a bamboo color and then they also have a light green. And I thought these would be really pretty for panini sandwiches or any type of sandwich that you need to um, like have a toothpick in. And I just thought this would be really cute. You could even tie a little bit of ribbon around it. And I think that would just be adorable. So I grabbed a little pack of these. Here's what they look like. Um, I like the colors of them. I also use them to put like little cheeses or tomatoes on and do like a little charcuterie type like grab and go situation. That would be cute as well. So thought those were a good deal. And then I already have a pack of these gold kitchen clips, but I love them. And so I decided to grab another one because they're such a good deal. They were $11.99 originally, and it comes with four of them. And I use these all the time. I was so shocked at how much I actually use them. I use them for chocolate chips or chip bags, pretzel bags. I even put it on like my lettuce bags that I throw into the refrigerator. I love these, they work so, so well. And then I also picked up these. These are like bamboo um, place cards or like name tags, but I figured you could do a few things with these. I'm almost planning on writing um, what we have in our garden on them because Brooks was wanting to do that and he wanted to write them himself. So I thought he could write on these with a little Sharpie, um, the different herbs that we have and stuff, and he could set those next to the plants. Um, but you could also use these for hosting too. If you have like a spread of food and you just wanna label everything, it'd be really good for that as well. They are just picks though, that you would just like press into something. So keep that in mind, but these were $5.99 originally so lots of just random good little finds sometimes i go into hobby lobby and i don't find anything and then other times i find all kinds of good deals and today was definitely one of those days now i'm going to show you some greenery that i picked up for summertime specifically and first are these greenery picks i feel like these are so realistic and wispy and they have a lot of movement to them they're a really long um, stem. They were originally $9.99 um, and then they were 40% off. I don't think that the floral is going 50% off anymore. I'm not really sure why, but um, yeah, I don't think that they're doing 50%. But this stem is so large, you really would only need one if you were putting in some other flowers with it. But I picked up two. And you can see it's just so full and wispy and you could really use this as a base of an arrangement and i thought this one looks so realistic like this just looks very lifelike to me and i think this will be a great affordable like greenery filler so i picked this up i've had my eye on it for a while but i wanted to wait until summertime to use it and then i'll probably put in some different flowers in there and um I found some really good faux peonies at Home Goods, so I'll probably place a few of those in. I think that'll give a very rustic, pretty, summery look. And then, okay, these berries I thought were so cute. These are just a little stem of some sort of like blackberry, and these were $9.99 originally, but I thought you could throw those into an arrangement and they would be so cute for summertime, um, especially around the 4th of July. I do plan on decorating for 4th of July this year. I haven't in years past, but I have a few just fun like DIY ideas and just more like hosting. So I'm not gonna have it out like for weeks at a time, but just for like a special event or like the weekend of the 4th of July or Memorial Day um i will 
have these out and I thought that these were so pretty. So here they are close up. I just think the berries give a very um, pretty feel. I don't love the greenery that's with them. It doesn't look the most realistic, but I think that if it was put in with another arrangement, it would look so, so cute. So very excited about those. I hadn't seen them before. And then another just neutral greenery piece that I love to get is this little bush here. If you have vases or something that you feel like needs just a little pop of greenery, a little bit of life, you don't want to get a real plant. I love these faux asparagus ferns. They are so pretty. I have asparagus ferns in my garden and I love them every year. I'm just really drawn to them. And these are such a good price. This was $6.99 originally. And like I said, it was 40% off. So you can play around with this. You can spread it out. You can have it more as a bunch. Just for example, you can take a little vase like this, pop this greenery in and it just elevates it. So very simple way to add some greenery and kind of finish off a look of that one um, and these are usually on an end cap so keep that in mind the rest of the florals were in the greenery section just the floral section right whenever you walk in absolute favorite find of the day are these lamps for our master bedroom. Like I said, we're in the middle of just sprucing it up, finishing it since we've moved in. We've just like thrown things in there, but I've really just sat and thought about what do I want this room to feel like? So that's what I'm working on. And when I found these lamps, I have two of them, the other ones in our bedroom, but these were $19.99. So crazy, they were originally $80. So. Such a good deal. Um, I like the size of them. I did order new nightstands for our bedroom. So the black is gonna go very well. It does almost have some distressing on it, but it almost looks a little green. So originally when I bought these, I thought I'm gonna use that same paint and I'm going to make it over, make it look like pottery. But then I ended up getting wood, like a light wood colored nightstand and I thought the black would look so sharp on it because it does have black hardware on the nightstand so now i'm like maybe i'll keep the black and i have an idea of how to get rid of this green distressing and make it look more like like a pottery piece like more earthy feeling almost like a taupe instead of a green distressing so super excited love this lamp they had so many lamps to choose from i mean so many i had like three options and i was going back and forth i love the one with the hobnail detail i almost got that one it was a little bit bigger those were 30 dollars each but i think they were over 100 normally so such a great deal if you are looking for lamps for your living room. I love putting lamps on my kitchen counters, um, literally anywhere in your home. They had tons and tons to choose from. And I don't know if that was just my Hobby Lobby or if that's all of them. They're just like filtering out a bunch of lamps. I don't know, but I thought this one was very cute and on trend. It definitely looks a lot more expensive than $20. So super excited about this sign. But that is everything that I found today at Hobby Lobby. So I hope you guys enjoyed going shopping with me, seeing what Hobby Lobby has out. And if you did like it, make sure to like this video, comment down below what your favorite item was, or if you saw anything in the store that you would have picked up. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to stay tuned for the home goods shop with me. That's going to be coming out really soon as well, but I will see you all very soon in my next one. Bye friends. Thank you.